A house fire at 147 Shumway Road in the town of Sweden last night. One woman was taken to the hospital. Firefighters from Brockport were on scene along with help from the Monroe County Sheriff's Office. This is a developing story and we will continue to update you both here on air and over on our website rochesterfirst.com. James Krausneck was found guilty of the 1982 Brighton Axe murder of his wife Kathy Krausneck last month and is scheduled to be sentenced today. James Krausneck is convicted of second degree murder after the jury found him guilty. We'll continue to update you on this story as it comes into our newsroom both here on air and on our website rochesterfirst.com. Police are investigating after a four year old was shot in a parked car on Saturday night. Police say this happened in the 100 block of Sulai Terrace just before midnight. According to police, the victim was a four-year-old girl. She was in the car with three adults and three children, including her, a six-year-old, and a 10-month-old. The suspect allegedly walked up to the vehicle and opened fire. The four-year-old is in the hospital but is expected to survive. News 8 is your local election headquarters. From opposite ends of the state, Governor Kathy Hochul and Congressman Lee Zeldin took aim at one another while holding rallies over the weekend. Zeldin was in Irondequoit speaking on crime, discussing the record-setting homicide rate from last year, plus the recent shootings of children. Hochul was in Yonkers with President Biden, speaking about infrastructure, new jobs in the state, and reproductive rights. We are going to declare a crime emergency here in the state of New York. We are going to suspend New York's cashless bail law, halt act, raise the age, less the score, and discovery law changes. It's going to be a busy day one. Every COVID mandate in the state of New York that we can get rid of is gone. Do you want to have good paying jobs? Then vote Democrat. You want to protect our environment for generations to come? Just vote Democrat. Do you want to make sure that we invest in education, have the highest quality education, support our teachers? Do you want to make sure that we get guns off the streets and start saving lives? Then you vote Democrat. Yesterday was the last day for early voting in person. The Monroe County Board of Elections says more than 55,000 ballots were cast over the past week. Candidates in both parties giving one final push to reach voters in the last weekend before Election Day. News 8's Chitara Marsh joins us now in studio to share a recap of their agendas. Chitara, good morning. Casey Amel, good morning. Mayor Malik Evans threw this endorsement behind every Democrat in Rochester running for re-election Friday. Most candidates used this chance to reflect on what they've done in their previous term to earn another two years in Albany. And by Saturday morning, conservative candidates for Monroe County districts were pushing back by sending volunteers door to door with booklets to explain their agendas, which they argue shed light on issues Democrats ignore. What Rochester needs is smart, strategic, and sustained community invest investments that will lift our families out of poverty, that will improve our health care and education systems, that will create more affordable housing and public transportation. They're not talking about what's important to New Yorkers, public safety, crime, education, affordability, making New York State a state people want to stay and not want to run away from. Sunday was the last day for early voting. Election Day will be held this Tuesday, November 8th. Casey, ML, back to you. All right, Jatira, thank you. Polling sites within Monroe County are designated by the Board of Elections. If you need assistance while voting, federal law allows you to have a friend, relative, or available election inspector to assist you. All right, let's check in now with meteorologist James Gilbert. James, things are looking pretty good out there. The weekend was stunning, mm. and it sounds like you have more stunning weather in store for us today. Yeah, I can't guarantee record high temperatures like we had over the weekend, but really looking good over the next couple days. We've got blue skies. You can see behind. This is a live camera view over Lake Ontario. Gorgeous view there up in Arundacoit. 56 degrees west wind to 14 miles per hour. The breeze going to stick around. That could make it a little bit difficult if you're thinking about finishing up that raking job that maybe you started over the weekend. Afternoon high temperatures, no, about the same as where we are today we're to start. So that number stays about the same where we see that drop. The election forecast, a peak at the rest of the week, will come at the end of the show. Casey, Mel, back to you. 
All right, James, thank you. Taking one last look at the roads this morning. We do have a new accident to report on Chai Lai Ave at Chestnut Ridge Road. That's south of the city. Otherwise, things are looking good out there. There are a few other minor accidents going on in the surrounding areas, but nothing happening in the inner city of Rochester, 394, 95, 90, are running on time this morning. But we do have updates for you throughout the morning, so if anything changes, we will let you know. All right, 6.51 right now, and time for your GRE Morning Business Report. Netflix will launch $7 a month sub subscription plans, if I can say that, on Thursday. This new plan will be ad-supported. That means four to five minutes of ads per hour of watching. Subscribers also won't be able to download shows for later viewing. This $7 plan will almost half the cost of Netflix's current basic plan.